question 15. A boo visits his local hardware store to buy six light bulbs. He knows that 15% of all the bulbs at this store are faulty, but A wants us to state a distribution um, which can be used to model the number of faulty light bulbs. So, this is an event with two possible outcomes, faulty, not faulty. So, it's binomial. So, let's let x be the number of faulty bulbs. And then x has a binomial distribution. Now n is the number of bulbs, so 6. p is 15%, 0.15. Cool. But b wants us to find the probability that all six light bulbs he buys are faulty. So that's just 0. Point. Let's do it a bit nicer. Probability x is equal to 6 is just 0. 0.15 to the power 6, which is going to give us 0. 0.000. 0, 1, 1, 4. If we go to 3, sync fix. Part C wants us to find the probability that at least two of the bulbs he buys are faulty. So this then is the probability x is greater than or equal to 2. Now that is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. Now, using your calculator again, I'm using the Casio classways, we can find the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. So, what you want is go into your menu, 1 minus 7 for distribution, then you want binomial CD, that stands for cumulative distribution. Um, then you want 2 for variable, and then you put in x as 1, n as 6, and p as 0 0.15. And that will give you 0 0.776. So we get 1 minus 0 0.776, which gives us 0 0.224. Cool. Part D for one mark wants us to find the mean of the distribution stated in part A. So I believe we're given this. Let's have a look. Uh, so there we go. Binomial distribution has a mean of NP. So the mean is 6 times 0 0.15, which is 0. Point Annoying. Okay, then the final part wants us to state two necessary assumptions in context that we've made so that the distribution stated in part A is valid. So, first up, binomial distribution only works for independent events. So, we've assumed Uh, 
Uh, the problem is he... ...of a light bulb... ...being faulty... ...is independent... ...of others... ...and the other thing that we've assumed... ...is that the probability stays constant. So we've also... ...assumed... ...probability... ...stays... ...at... ...0.15. A very common type of question, that. Cool.